Okay, so I'm back again and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about our new um, Eco Artist brushes. So our brushes are made in FSC certified wood brushes and FFC is the Forest Council something. So called Forest, the Forest Stewardship Council. So they're all approved uh, wood. Just turn the lighting down a bit here. It's a bit bright. Okay. Um, and they've got super soft vegan fibres to ensure a flawless uh, makeup application every time. In fact, I'm going to turn that off because I can see um, a light coming on. Uh, all right. Okay. So we've got seven new brushes. Um, they're beautifully um, designed. We have a kabuki, a kabuki brush, a precision face brush, a powder brush, a three-in-one eye brush, a flat detailing brush, an eyeshadow brush and a small detailing brush. And these are all um, good that you can wash, um, clean them with our signature hand wash. Perfect, it's antibacterial, so that's great to use for cleaning your brushes. Um, and um, here's a picture of all the brushes. I'm going to show you them one by one. They're fabulous, really lovely brushes. So um, our brushes have been um, created with a high-end luxury finish and as with everything in our Tropic range are priced honestly and reasonably. Um, with the exception of our Kabuki brush, powder brush and small detailing brush, our Eco Artist range of brushes features dual-ended and one triple-ended uh, brushes offering near endless application possibilities. Um, it's great as well for less lessening environmental impact. Um, there will be far less brushes needed overall. Um, and as I mentioned, um, we have used FSC, Forest Stewardship, Stewardship Council, um, certified sustainable wood to create your beauty brushes. And each brush boasts super soft, 100% vegan fibres for a flawless application. So um, I haven't got my Kabuki brush yet. That's coming later, which is going to be fab for using in our with our mineral foundation, soft focus and all our pots. To just swirl around and fill up from the mesh the powder comes up through the mesh in the new uh, foundations I'll be doing a video on that later so that's our the look of our new kabuki brush hope you can see that there it's a little dumpy one beautiful um, brushes they're very very um, full um, but they're also ever so good for not um, transferring powders and everything um, so um they're good to use nice and easy and i'll tell you a little bit about the kabuki sorry i can't show you that because i don't have it yet waiting for that so basically you would swirl the densely packed brush into your mineral foundation or soft focus and like buffly into your skin from the center outwards using gentle circular motions so this we did have um bamboo brushes before but they weren't be they were becoming less sustainable so these gorgeous new brushes are what we have now and this one is our powder brush and it says aren't they lovely so i'll tell you a little bit about this. oh they're super soft our powder brush this fluffy brush can be used on targeted areas to apply blusher and bronzer so to the tops and then bronzer all, either, all over your face um, and um, let me and also to use on your make it matte um, and to set creams and liquid products to achieve a smooth perfect finish so that is beautiful isn't it very very soft really lovely but very dense but full so you can do lots of things if you want to do the fanning contouring all sorts of things with your powder brush and so you can use it um, as the round edit or I see it's got a flat end as well. So you can do a lot with your powder brush. Um, let's see what it says on the box. I think that's what I've said, basically. And then up next is our precision face brush. So um, that's this one here. It's a double ended. And you can use the pointed end of the brush 
um, to blend contour into the hollows of your hostess's cheeks and to sweep highlighter onto the high points of the, your face. The domed end can be used to effortlessly blend cream liquid and powder products into the skin. Now, I can't work out what is difference, which is the point, that's the pointed end. So you would use um, that to um, use on your cheeks, um, sweep highlighter, high points of your face, down your nose, and the dome end is to really blend in, really blend into your skin. So that's that one. Let me just uh, put that back on. All right, um, and then the next brush, is our eyeshadow brush also dual ended so um, this rounded end of the brush can be used to soften and blend eyeshadows so great for really really blending in your eyeshadows um, and um, use the pointed end to buff out shadows so you'd use that if you're really trying to buff it out the sides really get some um, I thought that was like um it's definitely brush fibres, look. I thought it was like um, a rubbery type, but it's not. It's actual hair fibres, um, nice fibres. Okay, so they're lovely. That's the eyeshadow brush. Um, you use the pointed end to buff out shadows under your, host under your eyes or to add a pop of highlighter to the inner corners of the eyes. So just also putting highlighting in, dabbing that in. So that's beautiful. They're so lovely, aren't they? Such lovely quality. And then the next one is the flat detailing brush. And the flat detailing brush, um, you use the small end um, to apply products to which you want to achieve a full coverage and high intensity, such as concealer and eyeshadow. And um, the large end, so it's dual ended, the large end can be used to apply product to broader areas of your face so we've got lots of choices here and then we have a small detailing brush this is just a single end one use this brush to apply lip products um, with precision to dab highlighter to the inner corners of the eyes or to line eyes with wax or powder products so lots of uses for these brushes and obviously you need uh, to clean them regularly um, I would say once or once a week some people do it once a month it's up to you really obviously you don't share brushes uh, these are for your own personal use if I was using them I would only use them once on um, a customer and then wash them with my signature uh, hand wash okay and then our final brush which we're absolutely thrilled with actually is our three-in-one uh, brush it's got uh, this is for eyebrows. Let me tell you what else it's good for. Three in one. Um, use the spoolie end of this brush to comb through brows in gentle upward motions. Use the angle end with defining pomade, white lap, wax liner or dark eye shadows to, to define your brow shape or apply eye products with expert precision. Finally, the soft end can be used to buff and blend out products or with your eyebrow stencils to deposit powder onto the brows. I haven't got the stencils, I've got the old stencils. I haven't got them out here with me now, where you can just use a stencil to fill in brows, um, especially if you don't have um, very good brows. And like me, in uh, uh, in our younger days, we plucked for England. But here's the three-in-one, and this is fabulous. This is a new, a totally new brush. So that's the liner, defined liner, nice and firm to get your... Um, powders on and lined and fill your stencils this is you would use this first I think or maybe after to get rid to get rid of any excess to brush up your brows it's a spoolie and then you can also when you put your product on you can actually brush a bit off if you've got a bit too much so we're loving that one and then on the other end it's brilliant isn't it three in one oh I've shown you that end that's the other end where you can really define, pop it, pop it in for precision or using on your brows, uh, highlighting underneath, whatever you want to use it for. So that's it. They come beautifully boxed, individual boxed up. Keep them nice if you want. And that's all our brand new Eco Artist uh, Tropic brushes. Okay.
there you have it chat again soon bye bye for now